105.1 Coco Jones. <laughs> Mrs. Jones. I saw your little video yesterday. It was so cute. Thank you. Thank it's you. Very sexy. Very fly. Thank you. Hi, Coco. Hey, how you doing? Finally, we, we, we got this happening. I know. I am so happy, happy for everything that's happening to you. Thank you. And for you. Thank you so much. I know this has been a long... This is not a... People are just getting to know you. Some, mm -hmm. some people think you are just brand new, out mm -hmm. of nowhere, mm -hmm. but that is not the case. It's the opposite. Let's give the newbies a f just a quick like uh, tutorial. Okay. Well, quick the tutorial. PowerPoints. PowerPoints. Are... Give them the PowerPoints. <laughs> Started singing as a fetus. As a fetus. I um. Mother if... Mother is actually a singing coach, yes. isn't she? Mom. Well, no, well, she's my singing coach, oh, okay. but she would sing in church and um, like when she would do stuff around her city for her community mm -hmm. and whatnot. Um, but yes. I wanted to sing and take it professionally, so I stopped playing basketball. I started really pursuing it. My Were mom, you nice at basketball? Uh, respectfully, I was not. not. I thought I was eating it because I was just tall as hell, and everybody else was short as hell. It always seems like a waste when somebody's so tall and they don't play I, ball. What? Yeah, I didn't know about But hey, but I did it, for, so I ain't gonna judge. It ain't for everybody, but go ahead. Okay, so yeah, I stopped playing <laughs> basketball. I started singing. I did talent competitions. A judge at the talent competition worked with me for two years for free in the studio. I made a very ghetto DIY little album about sleepovers, basketball, and school. And you were how old? I was 10. 10. Mm -hmm. Gave it to a casting director at this huge casting call of 5,000 kids. I was like, here's my album. You're going to know about me, learn about me, listen to this. So I'll you see knew you at 10, you're like, mm. I was, I knew. I think I was like super sure. It was weird yeah. how sure I was. From where? Like from God? From your parents? From your like, where? Christ. It, oh. I, I just was like, this is just what I'm going to do. Yeah. Like, this is just it. This you is know? It. Yeah. And, um, I don't think it was till I got older that I, like, I wished I had that sureness and that certainty Yeah, we start again. doubting ourselves. Yeah, you know. Anyway, yeah. so I gave them my EP. A couple years after that, they asked me to be on their talent competition on Disney Channel. Mm -hmm. And then from there, I was really just involved with the channel. Did a couple shows. Did the movie that changed my life. Was with Hollywood Records. And then I got dropped from Hollywood Records. <laughs> and then uh, I didn't want to do, well, my mom didn't think it was best for me to do a TV show at that time. And I was confused as hell. That's what, fast forward. Then I was doing Mom has been like in charge of the career the whole time. Yes. Well, my mom has been my team when I didn't have a team. Yes. But obviously she's your she mom. didn't she's my mom and she didn't she didn't want to have to do that. It's hard, you know? Yeah. Like she yeah, just yeah, wanted yeah. to be my mom. Protect you. And but that's what she had to do. So right. yeah. Then we had the little moment of silence, what's going on in my life? What am I doing here? You're how coming old? Out how of old during the silence? 16, 16, 17. Coming out of child acting into being an adult. Where do I fit in? What is my vibe? I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm just gonna keep doing what I don't even know. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> and then um, I was doing little things. But you love it though, right? Of course, like, I do. Still, even I at 16, when you're in the quiet spot, you like you still love it, right? Like the only love... reason I didn't give up is because I loved it. Yeah. Like I just could not give up. Yeah. I wanted to. I was like, why don't I want to be a dentist? Please, I just want you to make me want to be a dentist. I will do <laughs> dentistry work dentist, passionately, <laughs> right? Because like, at least do... you know, for, to be a dentist, you do this, this, yes, and then that. Happens. And you're qualified. And I went to school for this, yes. so you have to hire me because I can do this job. Yeah, yeah. Instead of like, I can do this job amazing, but I don't look like da 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 da. Mm -hmm. Or you know, I ugh, whatever. So yeah, I kept doing it because I loved it. I was super confused, and then TikTok. So I started doing my covers on TikTok. Mm -hmm. One day I woke up and it had been viral. But actually before this, um, there was a tweet on Twitter, like what happened to Coco? So I responded to that. I told my story on YouTube. They took that clip and put it on TikTok and that went viral first. So everybody was using my sound. Mm. Then I started doing covers on TikTok. Then I met my team. Then... This is like a phenomenal recap like of your whole career. Uh, well, like, I you have like... done this a few times. This is yeah, I've good. definitely told this story yeah, like yeah, yeah, 17 yeah. times. But, but you yeah. do it well. You give like Thank the whole... Because I like knew a lot of this stuff, but hearing uh -huh, it in, in uh -huh. the... Uh, you in know, the context. Yes, in, in the whole context and yeah. the timeline. Social media kind of gave me my renaissance moment again. And I was going viral um on TikTok mm. and then I met my team I started having acting management music management my acting management was like you need to audition for this role it's called Hillary and Bel Air I auditioned I get that at the same time I signed with Def Jam High Standards and good timing. This, it was crazy timing because if you went too long down the Hillary road it could have yes. made people maybe not try to take you serious yes. as an artist yeah. but literally when the first episode premiered the first season premiered so did my music came Perfect. out at the same time Perfect. Caliber came out at the same time mm -hmm. So yeah, that kind of catches you up to where we are now. But you pop too. You 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 just there's something about being working so young as a kid. I mm -hmm. know it doesn't work out for everybody, mm -hmm. and it messes kids up minds sometimes yes. if you don't have a good um, base family and family and, support and yes. all of that. But there is something that prepares you to like 
shine when it's when it's go. I like, do feel like yes. I think I look at my Disney past like it was boot camp. Yeah. Uh, so now I know how to present myself and represent myself well. Like the other day I performed at um, a gala, a charity gala, all executives, business Oh, tie. that's the worst type of, yes. Wor the worst. Normally, they, yes, because they don't want to like, dance, they, they, they don't want to, they don't want to show right, love. No yeah. emotion for real, yeah. like, you know, like, good luck, go ahead whenever you're ready. But it, I literally had flashbacks to all the years where I would go in this little black girl with all a table of executives and they'd be like, whenever you're ready. And you just gotta go there. Yeah. There's there's no fear allowed. You will not get the job. Right. You know, you just won't get the job. <laughs> you gotta go there. So you really just gotta go there. So it's just I so think you it did all that the other night? Me. Yeah. What did you sing? I you know what I sang. Tell me what you sang. You know I sang I see you. Okay. You know okay. what I did. Of course did. you did. But yeah. um <laughs> that's my that's my hot song. Yeah, you know? No, no, um, you gotta do the song. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But yes, it did train me. I look at it all with no embarrassment. Mm -hmm. Every time I see my younger self, I know how much I wanted it. Mm -hmm. And I gave everything I had every time I could. So I look at it like, good job, little girl. I right love there. that. Mm -hmm. I love that you have that for yourself, yeah, too. Because So you, yeah, so what does this feel like now? Is it it's like a little surreal or does it feel like, yes, this is exactly where I'm, where I'm supposed to be? Humbly, it does feel like this is where I'm supposed to be. Yes. Not like, oh, period. Like, yeah, yes, yeah. of course. Like, I, I worked... I worked my ass off. Yeah. Yes, I'm. I'm happy that this is. Give, where I'm finally getting slot. here. You know, let me get my slot. Please, like, come on now. You know, it feels <laughs> like it feels like I've been at a company and they promoted me. Mm. It's not like I was slacking off. That's why y'all promoted me. But right, thank right. you for my promotion. Yes, thank you. I'm looking forward to more opportunities at this company. <laughs> but I'm happy though. I am very really happy. Funny. <laughs> and then the Bel Air thing. You probably knew from the gate because there was a lot of expectation about that show so it wasn't yeah. like you know sometimes you do a show and you're like is it gonna land is mm -hmm. it gonna do anywhere you don't really know but i think that show had a lot of eyeballs from the beginning definitely I mean, so you meant. you knew that it was gonna i don't know it was just gonna raise your level of I had no awareness idea. Yeah. i had no idea yeah i had no idea really? i knew that people were gonna watch it but i didn't know if, if black people were gonna watch it to hate or watch it to love uh -huh. i had no idea how they were gonna react to right. that and we all was like hold your breath count to ten you know because <laughs> i feel like my culture we either love it or we hate right, it. Yeah. You know, so I was were like, you, were, were you scared? You, Hell yeah, yeah, I was yeah. scared. I was like, y'all, oh, please like this. Please. Mm. You know? And then something, something with so much heritage and so yes, much history is scary. It's all, that's very scary to mess yeah. with, like a classic. Ooh, yeah, it was very nerve wracking. But you're here now, Coco. So yeah. are you having fun? Is it weird? Is it like, because the level of fame too is leveled up. A little, yes. Is a little, you know, you're like in the streets, people are way more probably coming up to you and stuff. How you how you adjusting? I'm having fun. Because you wanted this it. You're is, like, you're so well, prepared and ready for this. Yes, I am prepared. And honestly, it's so weird. It's like a renaissance type of moment because I really feel like this is deja vu in a in a weird way. Like, because you're supposed to be here. Well, <laughs> well, not even that, because when I did my first movie that really popped me off, Let yeah. It Shine, mm -hmm. I was 13, 14, and I just remember world change. Now, everywhere I go, like groups of little kids would follow me and stare and stuff. And I just was like, huh, what is this? What is this? That's when I was like, you what is going out. on? Yeah. I would ask my parents. They try to explain it to me like they're your fans. They they they're your fans. And I'm like, what is that? What? what why? Because <laughs> I wasn't fans of nobody. I just was like, what are you doing? How do I get to where you're at? OK, scoot, could you, you scoot over? You weren't a fan? Oh, no, 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 no. You no. had nobody that you grouped? No. Really? No. When I went to my first concert, <laughs> That's the craziest. I've never literally, heard that. I'm just not like that. I'd be like, how do you do get to your job? How do you, I do what you do? It was more like I want to learn. Yeah. I've always been like, teach me how. You never like. Uh, no, like, I did not fantasize. Yeah, fantasize no, or mm -mm. I don't know. Like, yeah, yeah. I get I'd it. be like, girl, you ain't even hit that note correctly. Scoot on over. <laughs> <laughs> you were coming for everybody. <laughs> no, I don't know what. I, <laughs> yes, I you also, were coming for them. Lucky, respect me. You were like, but I think also because I'm a. She's in my spot right now. How do I get her out of this? <laughs> Something is in my eyes driving me crazy. Oh, I Sorry. hate it happens. But also, I think it's like the sports in me. I played basketball and my dad played professional football. Mm -hmm. We would be training every summer. Even when I stopped singing, I was still doing summer you're camps a, outside. I'm just a competitive a athlete type yes. person. I remember when I went to my first concert. It was a Cheetah Girls concert. Oh, and do they know that? Who? The I don't. I don't think they do. Oh, okay, I, don't, okay. I don't think they do. Um, I've actually <laughs> okay. seen Adrian. I don't know. I haven't gotten a chance to tell her that. I'll but anyway, so <laughs> oh yeah, you could tell her. <laughs> they were like security started lining the row, and we we're like, "What's going on? What are they?" So then the Cheetah Girls come out. And they're like making their way through the road, looking at the crowd, right? They're looking at the crowd like, yeah, girls, we love y'all. And I swear, mm -hmm. I swear, Angie, she looked at me like, come on stage with us. Which one? Keely. Okay. 
yes, she looked at me like, come on stage, you are a star as well, come on. And I was like, ugh, obviously, yes, let's go. <laughs> So literally, I'm like, move. I tell my little sister, I'm like, girl, move on now, Scoochie. I'm scooting down the road, right? And I feel a grab. And my mom was like, ah, uh-uh. ah. She didn't let you go? No. I'm like, mama, they're telling me to go on stage with them. Like, it's rude to not. And she's like, no, they're not. I'm like, no, I swear. So we're literally having like a debate. I'm like, mom, please let me go up there. This is my time to shine. This is the time. She was like, no. She was literally like, no, So ma'am. wait, were they calling you or you made this up in your head? I don't know. I don't know if it was real. It's so clear in my mind. So you're like borderline delusional I'm a about little your delusional. ambition. I'm a little Got delusional. It. I'm a little, I just swear. I she might have just literally looked and stared at me. But I think with her eyes, she was like, I see the star in you. Come and shine Come on here. stage. <laughs> I was like, oh, thank you for Oh my asking. God, you know what I just saw in you? You what? just did that line. I get why people say you should play Gabrielle Union. You you got that? I didn't I didn't know it. I didn't see it. I just saw it. You know what's so funny? With my friends, I do a little like Gabrielle Union. Let me see impression. it. Come on, let's get it. Can we get like, it? Okay. Hey, come on. You know what it is. Look, don't play with me. Okay. <laughs> Like li- really little good. short sentences. I don't know. I always do Have that. Have you done it in front of her? Has she no, seen it? No, I don't. I don't know if she'd like that or not. Let's tag her. No, she would like it. You she think would so? love it. She's a fun girl. She is. She is. She is. She's I don't a fun know. girl. I don't she's know not she sensitive is. or like. You're right. And when I've seen her, it's nothing but love. She's so nice to she's me and so uplifting super like, to me. Yes, yeah, she loves women. She likes to support women. She's. She would love that. It's fine. It's fine. And we're gonna make a clip and we're gonna tag her so she could see it. Okay, it's really good. she knows I love her. So what? So it's does it go beyond that? Like if there was a movie, if there was like a Gabrielle, oh, I would, I would, you would absolutely, absolutely. Mm. absolutely. I love Gabrielle Union. The I love that class and that no bullshit energy. Like, Who would play D Wade in your Gabrielle Union movie? Uh, y'all got a good look with that because I have no idea. Who do we think could play D Wade? Any suggestions? Nyla, who do you got? She's good at this. Come on. Uh, 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 who just played the basketball guy in uh, uh, Saint Croix? Maybe N- no. I wouldn't do it. Kofi. I like where you're going with this, but for a basketball movie, I don't see him. Hanging you don't see Kofi there. doing oh, basketball. No, <laughs> well, it has to be two things. He has to be able to do basketball, mm-hmm. but he also has to be able to handle Gab. Da Vinci. Da Vinci. Da Vinci. Da Vinci? <laughs> da Vinci? Is he tall? Cause you're five ten. He's yeah, got to he, be. He's tall. Is he tall? He's tall. I don't know how he could. I don't know if he can handle a basketball, though. I don't know if he's giving sports. <laughs> I really don't know. I don't Who know knows? what he's giving. All right. We've, ju- we've slightly casted this movie. Yeah, slightly, slightly. We'll we're we're open to suggestions. If you want to hit the comments and put your suggestions, let's, 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 let's. Uh, yeah, I wonder what they would let's say. Let's put this out in the world and see what comes back. Okay. I'm curious. What they say. Then we would need somebody to play a little caveat. <laughs> we need a shady baby. There should be a shady baby. You know who can play the shady baby? Uh, um, uh, Marseille Martin's little sister. Oh. Marse oh Martin gosh. has a little, little sister, sister Sydney. is so spicy. She could play the shady baby. She definitely could. She definitely could. <laughs> Not you really casting this one out. <laughs> really like you're really, you're really putting it in the I works. like this for you because you we have to, Coco, as your music career is mm-hmm. continuing to grow and evolve, we have to keep the acting thing going That's true. too. That right? is my goal. Absolutely. I was gonna say, is it as as important to you or it's in the second? It, it's definitely ooh. It's 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 Mm-hmm. A it, little bit less, <laughs> just a little bit less. Yo, <laughs> just the way you sing less. through everything is amazing. <laughs> I, literally, I literally do. Um, but I do feel like it is important because ideally, I would want to go that egot route. Yes. I mean, why I see not that for you? I would love to do that, and I've done, I've done theater, I've done Can you, singing, acting, everything. So yes, okay. So then so we I need would a, want to. We need a play. We we need. We a, need a, we, I would we need, need to do a play. play. I I would need to do. You a play have to, to get do. To that. You have to do. And I am telling you. Ooh, I'm not going. That would eat. That would eat. Have we seen you do that ever? No. You have, have you done that publicly? You could probably sing the done, shit out of that song, I though, done. right? I, I did. Um, I did Beyonce's from Dreamgirls. Oh, oh. Listen, listen. Yes. yes. <laughs> I was like, listen to what? <laughs> no, listen. Yes, yes, yes. But yeah, acting and singing. I'm are trying to get it. Important. I can't. I don't have it. I don't have it. Listen to the sound. What's the big part? What's the big theater part, though? Listen, listen. I am alone at a crossroads. Yes, give it to them. Give it to them. (laughs) Me singing it up an octave lower. I was taking shots outside, so it's it's the low. You're gonna get the alto today. (laughs) That's gonna get the alto. Yeah. Okay. I went to the clear. Where did you sing that? Where can we see it? Um, Is it online? I would. I used to sing that everywhere. That was one of my audition songs. That was one of your songs. Yeah. I feel like it's somewhere, somewhere out there. You probably bodied it too. I probably, I mean, I was probably a fetus singing that one. That was one of my first auditions. What songs. about, what is your go? Do you have a Whitney song that you do? 
I I don't have a Whitney song that I used to audition to. I used to actually audition to um, Chain of Fools. Aretha really? Yeah. Oh, Chain of Fools. Yeah. That's not a typical... Uh... I know. I, it was stuff that my mom would listen to, like... Chain, chain, chain? Chain, chain, and chain. <laughs> I would definitely do that. And my mom would do this thing go, when we go, were... <laughs> please just give us, like, two bars so we can envision it. For five long years... Hey. I felt that you were my man, but I found out I'm just a link in your chain. Give me this part. Give it to me. You got me where you want me. Ooh, ooh, I ain't nothing but your fool. <laughs> you can get the background. I, I was fucking up. No, you go. You said, who, who. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the chain, chain, chain. Very. Yeah, my Christina That's good. Aguilera. You know, I would do that at the mm. end, like really carry that low and high. Where does this? Where did that? Where does that come from? Where do you learn that? Where do, can you do that? I want to do that so bad. <laughs> so when, you know, when you have like envy of like, I envy people who could really sing like that because it must feel so good. It does. It right? does. Like when I'm hoarse or something, or like you can't sick get it out. And I can't sing. I really feel low, low vibration. Really? Yes. I'm like, what is my purpose here? You know, is it weird to you right. that we can't sing? Like, like does it? <laughs> no, no, no. You know what I'm saying? Like, does it seem so easy to you that you can can you not understand why other people just cannot hold the damn note? No, okay. I, it's not like that. I look at it more like I don't know how to do a uh, plenty of things that people know how to do. Okay, I think it's just that's the gift that I got, mm -hmm. and everyone has their own gifts. I don't look at it like it's weird. Sometimes it's funny though. Do you look at it really like like do you? Treat it like a gift. Like do I you, do. Yeah. When I, because when I can't sing, I'm like, my gift. Is that what you my call purpose? It? <laughs> Literally, I feel purposeless, floating in the wind. I don't live for it. It's really sad. So, what do you do to like take care of it? Like, do you have to do you do stuff? I do. To, yeah. I I definitely do. When I have important performances coming up, I'm on some soldier, very restricted type of lifestyle because I hate not being ready for things. Yeah. So, um, I most of the time I will not be drinking. Will not. I won't even go out because I want to I don't want to talk too mm -hmm. much and like run down my mm -hmm. the clarity of my voice um, drinking a lot of tea and liquid and um, practicing vocal exercises practicing. yeah we, me and Nyla were talking about this earlier because I was like do you think like people could learn how to sing I do think people can learn how to even sing. if you can't sing like I can't sing and Nyla can't sing. I think you can learn how to do things. So if Very I wanted to, things. like in the next ten years of my life, like you think I could learn? Well, it might take ten. So I don't know, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how long. And I don't then know how the good could I possibly be? Really, seriously. There, I, now that no. is the thing. I yeah. feel like you can learn a lot of things, but some sometimes it'll miss that that real mm -hmm. soul mm -hmm. energy. It'll give. That's the gift. It, that is the gift I feel mm -hmm. connecting to your spirit and your soul mm -hmm. with it, you know, making you feel God, making you feel mm. heavenly. That's what I feel like music can really do is really powerful. What's your God song? Like, what's the song where you sing that you like? You know what? Take me to the king, mm. Tamla man. Mm -hmm. Woo. That's a good one. I literally get chills Woo! thinking uh, mm -hmm. about it. Because it's like, you can feel exactly what she's singing there. Mm -hmm. Like, you can, I imagine, I, I'm i very visual, too, when I hear songs. you sing that song, too? You yeah. have to, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do, for mm -hmm. sure. Especially when I need to get my spirit right. Because <laughs> I need to be, sometimes I need to remind myself, like, before all of this, who did I really depend on? Like, mm. these things don't make me or break me, and they definitely can't keep me safe. Mm -hmm. They're just acknowledgments, moments in time celebratory moments but moments are fleeting what is my real real safety mm -hmm. it is not in these things it's in god you know so yeah. i do try to remind myself of that when i when i get a little too caught up in how and why and what and when you know. you're rooted in that it's easier like how you were saying i don't say it from an arrogant place it's easy to be confident about your gift and your purpose mm. where you know it's it's yeah. bigger than you right you know Absolutely. what i'm saying it's easy to be like yeah i'm here I'm, yes i'm supposed to be here because i was put here the facts because facts. you know what i do know you know what i'm saying it's know. from a different place i totally I get that yeah absolutely and there have been times where i'm like please change the course of my life this is really hard <laughs> and then something would happen and i'd be like oh you keep playing with me okay we're, <laughs> we're in another year here we go here we, here go. we go you know yeah 
this must be an exciting time though it is exciting of so course what's on the uh like what's on the future agenda yeah yeah like just in the front in the in the front mirror right now like well i'm really excited because i i'll be talking like this happening okay today so today you just dropped a, a little one two step happening i did i hit my five six seven as well as eight so the song Crazy for me, I've been really, really eager to show my dancing abilities. Mm -hmm. So I'm really excited for this visual to be out, for people to see another side of me. She not only, can, she, she's not only she yep. gorgeous, but she could act and she could sing these notes and she could chang, chang, chang. And she, she could throw that thing, thing, thing in a rhombus. <laughs> she <laughs> could throw the thing, thing, thing. <laughs> so today I just dropped my EP live performance for my song Crazy for me off my debut EP. Live performance, so it's not yes. really like a video, like a music video. No, it's like a, not, it's not exactly a music video. It's a taped performance, yeah. It's just a performance, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But you're bodying it, and you look Thank amazing. You. Thank you. And you got no shoes on. I don't have shoes and on. And you're 5'10", so you could do that. Yeah. Oh, the benefits. And my dancers didn't have no shoes on, I was like, let me get like them. Mm -hmm. So I want to eat it up like them. You was eating it up. Thank you. It looked like you were having fun, too. I did have fun. It so, was. So, wait, this is the beginning of, like, another thing that we're about to start seeing? I or? think just another side of me that I also yeah. can do, you know? I really, really was nervous when ICU came out because I was telling my team, like, what if they only want me to do this part? I want to dance. Like, I want to, I love to dance. Yeah. I love to be on stage and give that energy. Yeah. So I just want to remind everyone that I do multiple things. My concerts will be multiple things because I am multiple things. Multiple things. Yeah. Is there a concert coming? Is there a tour coming? Absolutely. Yes, it has I to definitely be, right? plan on being on my own tour. Your tour fall. is going to be so good. I already know it, Coco. Thank you. Who would you go out with? Have you thought about that? I have actually a couple of girls that I would want. Um, You'd want to do come. girls. Yeah, mm. I would want. I would want to definitely do girls. Mm. And honestly, I would want to do black girls as well because mm. I just feel like I have a platform and I want to share that with my sisters yeah like it's only right i wish somebody would have done that for me <laughs> yeah that yeah. would have been nice we could have got to this earlier i know right but it's all right it's god's, god's timing play. god's timing we're here now okay so that dropped today which is very exciting yes. now people see you good with the one two mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then what's next well touring and then bel-air season three mm -hmm. And That's throughout a lot to manage time, yes it is yeah. mm -hmm. and throughout the whole time i'll be working on my debut album because i only had all this happen with an ep it's amazing. Crazy. And when's the album come? Do you have a time frame? I would say it would come out when season three of Bel Air would come out. And Perfect. And realistically, that would be beginning of the year. Next have year. you got any Emmy nominations yet for Bel Air? Not yet? I don't know. Did we? Oh. Yeah? Francis we don't know? You yes. don't know. Well, for what? You should know these things, Coco. Because if you get an Emmy nomination, if you win an Emmy, then you're on your way to your ego. E That's true. You got to focus. Got to focus. <laughs> I know, right? I'm like, damn, let me get to go. Honestly, I am not 100% sure, but mm. we definitely have a lot of um, reason to be concerned. Yeah. So, yeah. hope so. So season three is for sure happening. Uh, yes, we, it definitely got picked up. It got picked up. You mm. haven't shot anything yet. We haven't shot anything yet. It's a good team, too. You seem like, you, it's like the cast is dope. Like, yes. It's good. Everybody seems yes, cool my cast and is talented. Like, and yes, really, really well casted, I, I would say. I thought, they did. I thought you guys did a great job. Thank you. Could have went either way. Could have went either way. <laughs> Could have went either way. I'm just saying, even as talent, you know that. Oh, yeah. We you, all knew. We were like, this here could we go. go. <laughs> this could go either here way. Go. Because also, like, there yeah. was some hateration and holleration in that dancery. Like, people <laughs> were, like, was? not sure. Really? They were very unsure. Really? They weren't living for even the idea. Were you feeling frankly. that? Yeah. I don't know. But I don't look at the comments like that. Mm -mm. You don't? How are no. you managing that? Um, I just get on TikTok. Or I just watch The Office or something. Like, I don't want to get into that. Mm. because I feel like it ain't my business what y'all got to say about me unless it's good thank you <laughs> then thank you thank you I appreciate it but sometimes people just lean negatively like some some like stuff is just gonna always lean negatively so I don't even go over there no you cannot mm -mm. so we do a little feature called Google me oh have yes. you ever Googled yourself oh, you better Google me yeah because sometimes the pictures be looking raggedy and I'm like can we figure out how to get these down get the, why is my Wikipedia the one where I had that bright pink <laughs> lipstick on with no lip liner I didn't even know what I was doing <laughs> Is that the one that's there? There you was one it. that was there. You yeah, changed it's, it? it's changed now. So you it's have Googled now. yourself. I have. So do you know what comes up? Like some of the top questions that people ask about you? Mm -mm. I'm going to ask. I'm going to tell you. You're going to okay. answer. You're going to you're going to answer them for me. Mm. Some of them are very simple and simple. Like one of them says, uh, "Where was I born? What is Coco Jones' real, real name? name? Yeah, Courtney. That's cute. Courtney. Is there a middle? Courtney. Court well, dang, they go. All right, sorry. I don't want. <laughs> and your social security number? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> just playing. <laughs> How tall is Coco Jones? 
I say 5'10", but sometimes some doctor had said 5'9". Mm. Some say 5'10". I don't, I don't know. Five, I think ten. you're 5'10". Five, Somebody Google, well, men, people Google, what is Coco Jones famous for? A lot. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> That's a good answer. That's it. <laughs> Literally good. Which which one? Which which fame? The, the, the baby fame or the grown girl fame? A lot. <laughs> How old was Coco Jones in Let It Shine? 14. What movie does Coco Jones play in? Let It Shine. <laughs> They're very intelligent, the people who Google you. <laughs> Your fan base is. Uh, <laughs> just, well, these not don't my fans. Be mad they don't know about me. You right. You ain't her fans. fans. If they you're googling me. these things, you don't know her. That that's, means that's if you're facts. googling things, you are new to them. Yeah, that's true. This so is a that's new circle. That that's what they want to know. This is a new circle of people that are mm -hmm. like, who is this Coco? Mm -hmm. Where is Coco Jones? What is she famous <laughs> for? What is her real name? Is Coco Jones married? I have seen that too. I'm like, um, no, I'm not. Why? Who try to come with that? Yeah, yeah. Yo, your DMs got to be crazy though. I mean, yes, they're not. It, first of all, I be feeling like that's gassed up, what like DMs being crazy. I just feel like that's kind of gassed up. People don't still do it. It's not a thing still. I, I no, they do DM and yeah. everything, but I just feel like it's not. What What do people think now that I have a song? Here's, here's like, an now we recognize your beauty, lady that sings. Like no, <laughs> it's always been people DMing me. It's oh, here's just what like I different. imagine for you. Here's what I imagine. There's some very famous oh, actor or artist or let's maybe an athlete, mm -hmm, somebody mm -hmm. who is in his own world. Maybe he's famous too. Mm -hmm. He sees you from afar. Mm -hmm. He sees your new dance video mm -hmm. and your bare feet, mm -hmm. and he's like, <laughs> "How can I get to know her?" So he goes to the DM. That's what I'm talking about. DMs. Well, that's very realistic, but. I feel that, like, ha that happens a lot. I'm imagining. Yes, the, yes. It's probably a solid list too. Like, yes, yeah. some yes, yes, some, <laughs> yes. Some are like solid, and some I'm like what? Ignore. <laughs> but I feel like I'm more of the we got to meet in person. Yes, I would ideally not like to meet somebody off of Instagram because then I'm gonna go to your page and like, first of all, I'm already analyzing the first thing you say to me. Mm -hmm. so it's just gotta eat yeah. and you don't even know me so you don't even I don't even know how you said that <laughs> what, so, would, what mm -mm. would be what would be a like what would eat what I, would be a thing I really like if you were you and you were trying to holler at you in your DM like what would be a thing that would shout shout it no I'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> I would really like upfront, to the point respectable and plans like don't the one sentence that means nothing. I don't. What are you? What is this? I don't understand. Who are you? You know, like, I think you're really beautiful. I would love to get to know you more. If you'd be okay with that, no pressure. Like, leave it up to me. Da 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 da. Yeah, no, you know? don't be too pushy. Don't yeah, be too, yeah, yeah. Like, please, some, some of you that's not being. difficult. That wouldn't be difficult. That's yeah, just it's polite just and some point. sense. And straight, some, thank you. Yes, yes, some sense. Straight keep to right the there. point. Keep it right on there. Let's put it put it out there, but don't push. Let me let me yeah. come. Right, right, okay. right, right. This is good advice if somebody is thinking about it. Well, don't just copy and paste what I said. Put a little <laughs> razzle dazzle <laughs> on it. Otherwise, I'm gonna see right through. Yeah, you better put some razzle dazzle on Please that. Put some razzle dazzle on that. Okay, so Coco Jones is not married. No. <laughs> uh, is Coco Jones Mike Jones's daughter? <laughs> yes, but not the rapping one. Not the rapper's daughter. Not the rapper. Is Coco Jones from SWV? <laughs> <laughs> no. Dang, these folks don't know a thing Coco, about me. Coco, are you the child of Mike Jones the rapper and Coco from SWV? Now that would be crazy. That would be crazy. No, y'all, come on now. <laughs> now they should have Googled the other thing before they Googled that. They should have. These people, they, would, they, they know nothing. That is Ooh. how you do Google me though. Very well, you answered all the questions. Nothing Ooh. was too crazy. No, that isn't crazy. Have you ever met Coco from SWV? I don't yes. Know. You have? I have, yes. Coco, I have, hey I have. Coco, what's that? how does yes. that go? It was so nice. She was super, super friendly. I met yeah. her kid too. Her kid was like a really big fan of me. It was really cool. That's sweet. Yeah. Coco. Really cool. A Coco Coco collab at some point hey, could be really honestly, cute well, you and know fun. That, that could I mean, be fun. I have double back samples rain by SWV on my mm -hmm. EP. So I think it would be cool one day. Like maybe if we're crossing paths, like they could, they could do that. Do that with me. They have to clear that, right? So Yeah, they did. They know about it. They yeah. said yes. They said yes. Thank y'all. That, that means Once they approve. Again. Who's been the greatest cosign? Like, who's been the biggest surprise of something like that? Where somebody's like, maybe somebody you look up to is like, liked your work or been in... I think um, Janet Jackson. Uh-oh. She, she posted my whole performance of one of her songs that I had sang 
um, the whole thing she put it on her Instagram in feed. Are you, in feed? Yes, and like was like giving big upping me. That like was very very shocking. My Do you get alert so cool. that this is gonna happen? Like did somebody? No, tell, it just didn't came know. up. Mm-mm. My manager called me and she was like, <laughs> I was like, wow. <laughs> but then I was like, oh my gosh, yeah. What song was it? What song was it? I sang "I Get So Lonely." Oh, that's a good mm-hmm, one. Mm-hmm. I think I saw that. Now that you say that, I think I saw that. How exciting for you. Very cool. All Very right, cool. so then Coco, you're set. You're good. You're, you're on your way. Mm-hmm. All the things you want to happen are going to happen. You're going to get an EGOT. Yeah. I ha- ha- what, do you have a time frame on this? Five no, years? I already Ten years? God's timing? With yeah. the time frame. Because okay. that drove me crazy. Yeah. Because <laughs> I thought when I was 16, I was going to drive my car up to my new job, and I'd be like, oh my gosh, you guys, you can park it. Yeah, come on. And then I'd be like, da-da-da-da-da. Then I'd drive from there to my concert. I didn't drive anywhere because there was nowhere to go because I had nothing to do. I have no job. So, no, I'm not putting any time. But you didn't give up, though. I couldn't. Yeah. If I could have, I would have. I just couldn't. I loved it too much. I loved it too much. I wanted to see, you know, it all play out like it is now. I just knew I had to keep going one day. And is it everything you imagined it would be? It is everything that I imagined it would be. Yes. Mm. The good parts and the bad parts. You expected them. I did. Yeah. I know it's, it's not like. I'm just gonna walk into a, a fairy tale land. It's it's still the music business. Yeah, it's still business. And you were raised to probably have some type of understanding. I know your father played football, but it's still a level of like, uh, like I don't know, just professionalism and like public. And I think they definitely raised me to always show up as my best version of myself and be professional and and really market myself uh-huh. and pitch myself. You know what I'm saying? Like look at me as a product in a way and I want to be the best version. Mm. But I do think that they left me a little naive <laughs> as to how this was all really? going to play out. Yes. I mean, I moved to LA by myself when I was 17. Well, that's wild. And I just was like, that. well, yeah, they had to let me go. Yeah. At 17? Yeah, I graduated I early so I could go. I don't let my 17-year-old go to a house party if I don't. If the parents well, are also, not y'all, home. Y'all over here in New York, it's scary.com. <laughs> we was in Lebanon, nothing but deers out there. <laughs> So they were really like, go ahead. Go to L.A., have a good yeah. time. Well, 17? Yes. So I just thought I was going to get there, and it was immediately going to change. I, I was not. super naive. Mm. So I had to learn. I think I had to learn all over again what my music industry life will look like, how to have my dreams still in the midst of that without them shriveling up yeah. out of fear that they won't happen. And that was hard to learn again. You push through. You're here now. Mm-hmm. It's all good. How are you balancing regular life? You have friends and or your friends that you don't ever see them. Like, do you have a normal life? Like, are you still having? Yeah. Doing normal things? Yeah, I feel like I'm real normal. Sometimes my team gets mad at me because I just go and do normal things. Like what? what by you, myself. You want a supermarket? Like walk around by myself anywhere. <laughs> That's what? Continue. What? Say, she said, continue. Tell what? me what else. What? Uber. Ubers? Oh, yeah. Do you, like, you're not Uber well, Xing, are you? Huh? No, you better be Uber Blacking at least. She's still Sometimes I'd be like, she, come on, it's up the street. <laughs> <laughs> and then one time, one time, I was in New York and I was like, why is this Uber so cheap? I was like, I'll get it though. They must not know they got a glitch or something going on. It was Uber X. It was Uber Share, oh. Uber Pool. Oh, Uber Pool. So then I get in there and then we make a stop and then this other man get in there and I was like, what the hell? <laughs> and then I look at this thing and I was like, oh my God. And then I was like, well, we on the way now. She, come on. <laughs> and then I'm talking to my mom. I'm like, mom, look what I'm doing. I was like, I'm in a Uber a Uber share. And she was like, going off of me. She was like, Cardi, you can't be doing this stuff anymore like I try to tell you. I was like, girl, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Who was the guy who got in the Uber share? I don't know. He didn't speak my language. Okay. So it was okay. It worked out okay. Yeah, we was vibing. But don't play that game. because I know. It could now, go, that was it could goofy. Go any- that was very goofy. I didn't know. I thought it was a glitch. No, no. I didn't know why. Uber share is so probably cheap. not ideal. Not ideal for you. I, at this I wouldn't point. even do that normally. You know, I didn't even know they still did that. I thought that was done after the pandemic. There's too many, I didn't know there's too many crazy people. You gotta be yeah, careful. I definitely played you myself. I, I was laughing really hard. That was very goofy of me. You seem pretty grounded and like you're still doing normal stuff. So yeah. that's good. I mean, me and my friends, we are normal. We yeah. are. I just feel like I I get along with people that just don't care about all of that stuff. Yeah. You know, like you're not fa- you're not impressed by like no celebrity it, or fame no. or any of that. Mm. Anyone who's trying to flex that, I'm like, yuck. Yeah. No, that just doesn't do it for me. Right. Like, I'm never going to walk in a room like, oh, yeah, I see you. Oh, yeah. Mm-mm. You're going to have to ask, dig deep and ask me what I really do to get a full answer. And right. then have to, I'm going to be like, why do you want to know that? Right. Like, you know, like, what? I just want to be human beings because yeah. I just look at it like this is 
my job. I happen to do this job. What's your job? Mm -hmm. What do you do? Yeah. You know? Cool. Moving on. And your friends are all good. They're yeah, all like... my friends are all like in different lanes. So I have some some friends that are like more influencers, fashion pages, like do they do flat fashion mm -hmm. stuff like that? And then um, um, I have a friend who's a nurse. My, one of my other best friends uh, plays Lisa on the show Bel Air. So oh, Simone, yes. who plays Lisa, love that girl. And then my best friend Jalen is also an actor, and we met through like Disney Channel. Like we met when we were fifteen. So they all understand set. your life. Yeah, the, yeah, everyone gets it. And I mean, it's also L.A. So. Yeah, people see celebrities there, and I feel like it's kind of interesting. I feel like they aren't faced by celebrities in LA either. Mm -hmm. You know, like it's not like, hey, it's like, hey, we we know. That's good. You're so good. She's so good. She got a good family. You got a good career. Your friends are good. Yeah. You got the you got the the guys are gonna start coming more correctly in your DMs. <laughs> this is all working out. It is. All and then out. ten years from from now, Coco, what are we looking at? Ooh, I love to play this game because I want to think about my life. Okay, let's think about your life. Oh my! I'll be an amazing singer by then in ten years. You will, cause you'll you'll start practicing. <clears throat> what yeah. was the hell was that? I don't know. Was that was that, was that bad? <laughs> oh my was that God. bad? Was that bad? That's that not good for your vocal sign. cords. That, that was very dark oh, Vader energy. That's bad. That's good. Yeah, people well, think that's good for you. No, that's not, not good for your vocal cords. Tell me what to tell me what to do. You want to you know something else that's very surprising? What? Tea is not good. For really? It. It's a dehydrant. I didn't know that myself. I was mortified and sad. I had no idea. Yeah. It, yes. So many people drink. What about the throat coat? That's what I know. I. You're, I know. I was also <laughs> shook. So what do you take? Well, actually, throat coat is allowed Tequila? because it's herbal. It, uh, <laughs> herbal. <laughs> no caffeine. Yes. Cold green tea. <laughs> Please. I'm sorry. I'm mm. on the yak. I want to dance. Mm. But no. Actually, tea is a dehydrant. Most of them, except the herbal ones. So it was pretty sad to Oh, me. that's what I have. Herbal tea. I drink oh, herbal okay. tea. Okay, well then your life will not be affected by so that So I'll fact. be an amazing singer in 10 years? Well, if you stop doing that little growl. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're well on your way to something decent. Um, ten just... years, I um, hmm, I definitely will have put out multiple albums mm -hmm. and multiple films, so I feel like I will be a household name. Yes, which talk I think, it, talk it. <laughs> wait, yes, I, which I think equals a level of respect on my name that I really want. I mm -hmm. want that creative control and that respect that I I feel Beyonce has that. I feel mm -hmm. Rihanna has that. Anything their name is associated with. You know what you're getting. You know it's going to be excellent. You're going to want to see it. You're going to wear it, hear it, wear it, whatever it is, mm -hmm. you know? What is the key to that, that, you think? Consistency and a level of quality with mm -hmm. your consistency every mm -hmm. time. Yes. Showing up and showing out every time. Yeah, I agree. I think people get caught up sometimes with like the quick fix or the quick mm -hmm. hits or the get a lot of numbers or all mm -hmm. that stuff. And then you put out stuff that's for that. Yeah. As opposed to the thing that is going to elevate you. Yeah, absolutely. I think um, if it was up to me, I would choose longevity way more than I would choose numbers and fame. Like mm -hmm. that has nothing because it can come and go. And then what am I going to do with my life? This is all I know. So I'd rather be doing this. Are you trying to have like time. fashion? I mean, like like cosmetic lines and products and all those things. This brand will be attached to some product. OK. OK. Because uh, something. Yeah. Something's going to have to. You're trying to hit a billion at some point. I mean, I'm not going to say no. Because you mentioned Beyonce and Rihanna. I did do that. Yeah. I did say <laughs> You're that. You're very specific. So, yeah. Um, definitely a Coco Jones something. Yes. Put it in your shopping cart. And buy. <laughs> Eventually. By the way, whatever you're buy whatever you're selling, I'm buying Coco. Okay, we're well, going to start with something for to clear that throat. <laughs> My throat, thank clear you. Clear that throat. <laughs> All right, I've had enough of her. <laughs> Coco Jones, everybody! <laughs> thank Spot you. with the 5.1. That was so much fun. It was so good. <laughs> did we, I didn't even look at none of the notes. I want to make sure there wasn't anything that we were supposed to talk about that we didn't. You oh. said that so fast. 2X. Love it. She I didn't. Yeah. What do you mean? I watch videos sped up because I like to hear no, people fine. talk really fast and get to the point really fast. And the way you were talking just now was really fast and I lived for it. Really? Mm -hmm. so, you, uh, so every interview, like this interview, like you'll watch this interview back? Yeah, I'll watch it in 2X because I want to know how I was looking and how I was talking, but I don't want to take the time to watch it in slow because it takes too much time. You talk really fast too if you want. Well, now I'm doing it on purpose, so but I it, found myself. Okay, That's but if, not we right. this, if we do this, let, let's just say this. Let me put this out there for you. If we do an interview, if we finish the interview and we do it really fast and we talk really fast during the interview, then when you watch it in double speed. Well, then I would, it would technically be 4X and I would live with that even more because that's faster. <laughs> that's the fastest way to watch. I wish they had. I wish they had a faster speed. Really, I really do. I've googled it. Wait, you you watch TV shows like this too? Yeah, because I'm like, let me get this entertainment, but I'm also trying to eat this plate. So let's go, and then I have things to do. But you miss out on some of the nuances of the little things that happen, like the little little little. little. Well, sometimes if it's really funny, I'll rewind because I'm like, that was hilarious. I want to see that again. Slow motion. Or I'll be like, what did he just say? Not slow motion. Actually, regular motion would be slow motion for you. Yes. Yes. 
Unless it's like, this is a purpose. We have the movie theater, Courtney. Shut the hell up and watch this in the normal way. And I'm just like, fine with it. I train myself. Your brain is definitely going at overtime if you're watching everything like that all the time. All right. Oh, girl, you should hear my audiobooks. <laughs> that is giving Busta Rhymes. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, this is a damn shame. I hold nobody here. <laughs> you should Google Angie Martinez, Busta Rhymes. Uh, you know, I did that first. Like you did when, it when, too? It, when it first came out. No, no, when it first came out, I was like the first one to do it. No way. Yeah, it was like a viral thing. Busta just did a thing about it. He talked about me doing it. And it was like first thing, but it was super fast. But if we watch that in double speed now, how amazing that would be. Oh my God. Every time I go down. That'd be hilarious. Can you do it? No, you can't do it. Every time I come around, I come around. I was looking at me. Oh, wait. Let's go, because I'm feeling like I'm running. I feel like I got to get away, get away, get away. But I know that I don't. I won't ever stop me. You know, I got to win every day. day. <laughs> and then it's really want to pop me. Just know that you will never stop me. And I'm like, no, we a little cocky. No, but you ain't never going to stop me. Every time I'm coming, I got to say that I got to go. And then I got to get it. Then I got to pull. And then I got to shut it. And then I got to do it. And I got to do it. It was the eye contact. The, the, the eye contact was really Because I was losing it. And, I was, and then you were keeping me there. I was like, come on, come on. Keep up with me. I'm here for you if you ever decide to do that live. I'll, okay. I'll back you up. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 